The Bible is considered the best-selling book of all time in any particular language you may consider. It is certainly one of the most available uh, publications on the face of the earth. Uh, and it's true that there are many languages that do not yet have copies of the Bible. But for those who do have copies of the Bible, it's probably one of the most accessible books that you and I can find in any particular language that it's already been prepared in. My name is Reverend Kwame Rubadiri. We've been considering over the last week or two the subject of the treasures that we discover in God's Word to us. And there's something more that I want us to talk about today. So please do stay with me right here on Sedum Church Online. It is my pleasure and joy to be with you. We considered about a week ago how Job made an interesting statement. Now, those of you who are good students of the Bible know that Job is uh, a man, a father, a uh, husband, uh, a fairly wealthy individual who uh, in the scriptures went through a time of great testing. Uh, the, the testing was really, really profound in his life. He lost his children. He lost almost all his property. Uh, his wife survived, uh, but she was really of no major encouragement to him. And a couple of his friends came and tried to uh, counsel him, tried to encourage him, uh, tried to remind him that, you know, perhaps this is all happening because something wrong that you did. Uh, but in all of this, Job was eager to hear from God himself. He wanted to know why he was going through what he was going through. And he really felt that the significance of what was happening to his life was in God speaking to him. It was in God's words to him. And he tries his hardest to find that. Now, he said something in uh, the 12th verse of Job chapter 23, which we looked at last week, when he said that uh, the word of God is treasured. He's treasured the words of the mouth of God and more than his necessary food, that this was far more important to him than what he ate. Something that you and I may have uh, recalled when we consider what Jesus said when he was first tempted by the enemy, uh, who was trying to tempt him to turn stones into bread. And he said, quoting uh, from the book of Deut Deuteronomy chapter 8, he said that man shall not live by bread alone, by food alone, but by every word, every word that comes from the mouth of God. Now, the revealed words of the mouth of God to us are the Bible. They are the word of God. And it is sad that as much as it is available to us, in, uh, especially those of us in urban centers, in languages that we can very easily understand, uh, we don't really get into the treasures of the word. Of course, the word treasure means that there is some effort involved. You've got to, go, you've got to dig deep, you've got to search, you've got to uh, examine, you've got to research uh, to get the full value of those treasures uh, to come out uh, for our benefit. Now, m most people don't do that. They don't engage the Bible as we should. There is a, a group in, based in the United States, uh, an institution called the Center for Biblical Engagement. Now, about a decade ago, a little over a decade ago, they conducted a series of surveys on how many believers uh, actually take time to not only read their Bible, but put it into practice in their lives. And they did uh, research uh, over two years. They uh, interviewed over 400,000 believers, over 400,000 uh, people who professed faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. They went to 24 different denominations, and the age range that they interviewed went from eight years old all the way up to 80. And they found that despite the fact that most of these people had access to Bibles, it, it seemed to make very, very little difference in their lives. And the main difficulty was because most people who had Bibles did not engage them. The sad fact of the matter is that many of us who profess Christianity or profess to be coming from a Christian community or even a Christian nation, don't even know the first thing about the tenets of our faith, of the Christian faith, from the Word of God. We don't engage the Bible. Next time we're together, we're going to look at what a difference it makes to our personal lives, to, to our practical living, to actually read the Bible, actually obey it, actually make it a part of our lives. What sort of changes that produces in our lives? I'm sure you'll be surprised by the information you hear, so I encourage you to join me next week when we look at what difference engaging in the Bible for just four readings a week, just four times in, in the course of a week, if 
you read your Bible for 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and even an hour, four times a week, the kind of difference it would make in your life and mine. Join me again next week to see how engaging the Bible unfolds the treasures of God's Word in a way that you and I will always be a meaningful difference, make a meaningful difference in our world today. It's been my pleasure to be with you. Please remember to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you're always informed about these uh, clips as they come throughout the week on Seatown Church Online. God bless you.